The first thing that I wanted to ask is, I suppose, a pretty basic one. But when people ask you, what do you do? How do you answer that? Oh, very poorly. Um, I, I fundamentally, at heart, I'm an entrepreneur. And uh, any day in which I solve the same problem twice in a row, I'm pretty unhappy. Uh, so by definition, you know, I, I like to do something different every day. Uh, and I think all humans are sort of meant to do that kind of thing. The, the idea that we repeat ourselves and we specialize and we pigeonhole ourselves is a modern invention created through specialization of labor in the Industrial Revolution. Uh, and hopefully, as more and more people move up Maslow's hierarchy of needs, we're going to be able to uh, define ourselves much more loosely. So that's a good way of dodging your your question. Now let me actually answer it. Uh, my day job is I am co-founder and CEO of AngelList, uh, which is kind of the world's largest platform for online fundraising and recruiting for startups. Uh, we're bringing venture capital online. Uh, we have lots of great uh, lead investors, essentially uh, mini micro venture capitalists who can uh, do deals on the platform and uh, allows anyone who is sufficiently wealthy and sophisticated to invest behind them. And we also run a large marketplace for introducing talent to startups uh, where we have over 10,000 companies recruiting now. We have hundreds of thousands of uh, candidates who are looking to join great startups. And we're making uh, over 10,000 introductions, mutual introductions every single week uh, between candidates and startups. Um, so that's kind of my day job. Uh, but the reality of what I do on a day-to-day -day basis is just completely different. Now, uh, it's so, so no, I wanted to to talk about two seemingly opposed, maybe they're complementary characteristics of yours that I've observed. The first I thought I'd introduce just via, via a, a story. So we have a mutual friend who's a salty old Polish trainer who I won't mention by name. And you actually introduced me to him. He does a lot of incredible Olympic lifting. And he is one of the most aggressive, intense human beings I've ever met in my life. And of all of the people that he and I know mutually, He's like, Naval, that guy is intense. That guy is intense. <laughs> so why, why does why does he have that opinion of you? And uh, do you agree with it? What is that? Uh, yeah, it's actually interesting. I think at my core level, I am an extremely intense person, very competitive. Um, I have this huge drive to win. Uh, I always want to be right. I usually <clears throat> research the hell out of any topic I get into and learn 80% of it very quickly and I take nothing at face value so I'm always kind of questioning and and uh, deciding and when I first met this gentleman who just like you he's transformed my life actually he's made me healthier and fitter than I've ever been um, and he and I consider him incredibly intense uh, I pushed back on him I mean there were things that he said that I thought were smart that I could corroborate um, that I took uh, as he had handed them and there were things that he had said that contradicted my own experience in reading and so I dismissed them so I think he was little he might refer to me as being intense because I have my own point of view on everything uh, or everything that matters that said uh, I've probably spent the last half decade of my life, like all of us who are getting a little older, being uh, much more introspective, uh, much more aware of my own foibles, and trying to be a much calmer person, uh, and trying to be less stressed and more happy and more in the moment. And part of that means learning how to control the intensity, dial it up and dial it down. And that's, that's a contradiction that we all deal with, that we all want to be successful people, but we also want to be happy people. And the two of those run in almost diametric opposites to each other. And if you look at all the new wisdom, uh, the new wisdom is if you walk into an airport bookstore, you open up Time magazine. It's all about you must be like Elon Musk or Larry Page. It's all about success, success, success. And because we live in this mythology of anyone can achieve the American dream, if you're not successful, if you're not Tim Ferriss, then you're a loser. Um, and that's or if, terrible. Or if you're Tim Ferriss and you're not Elon Musk, you're also a loser, right? You're also a loser. That's right. There's always there's always someone higher up the stack. Uh, so the success driven mentality drives you to unhappiness. And if you if you want to be successful, surround yourself with people who are more successful than you are. But if you want to be happy, surround yourself with people who are less successful than you are. Mm. So so this is the the contradiction that we deal with all day long because we're also told that the American dream will bring you happiness, and it will not. I think a lot of us learn as we get older that happiness is internal. Happiness is a choice that you make and then a skill that you develop. And so how do you do that? And that's the fundamental contradiction. And that's why uh, our mutual friend can consider me 
uh, incredibly intense. And, I, and by the way, I hope you'll have him on the show someday because I think oh, yeah. he has incredible wisdom uh, yeah. to pass along. Uh, so th- that's where the intensity comes in, the desire to be successful. Uh, and at the same time, the non-intensity <laughs> comes in, which is a desire to be happy. 